One issue that I have with amateur golfers and their practice, particularly on the short game, is that they have no consequence to what they're doing. They'll quite often come up, get a basket of balls, they'll hit 50 chip shots. If they hit a bad one, they simply get another golf ball. Trouble is on the golf course, it's not like that. I'm Jack Woods, one of the golf professionals here at the Peter Cowan Academy, Dubai Creek, and we're here with Golf Digest Middle East to try and rectify that. I've got a little game here I'm going to talk about called Par 18. I've chosen nine locations around the green that I'm going to place a ball. We're going to go for three easy, three medium, and three hard. I've already chosen six, and I'm going to show you three more to give you a good example of that. Once the balls are in position, we're actually going to try and get up and down from each location recording our score. If we can do that in, let's say, 21 shots or better, we've managed to achieve our goal under some pressure. We can only do the game once per day though, and that allows us to create that consequence of making mistakes and having to deal with them. We'll start off with a relatively easy chip here, so something in front of the green, a decent lie looking straight up a nice slope there, very simple up and down for us. Something a little bit more challenging now, so we'll move on to a hard location, Missing the green, short-sided. I've got to now come up over a rise, a very small amount of green to work with. I really tough up and down that one. Last location is going to be a medium location. Something where I would expect to get up and down with a decent shot, but there's a little bit of challenge to it. So I'm going to go to the side of the green here, not too far away so that it's not too long a shot, but I have got to go up a little bit of a slope here to make it a little bit more difficult. So now we've got our location set, let's have a little go at the game. So just to reiterate again, the idea is to try and do this in less than 21 shots to, to complete our goal. We'll start with the easy one, so let's have a little go at that one first. I'm going to use my 54 degree wedge to have a, a play at this one up the hill, so we'll give that a try. on a little bit but not too bad good chance to get that up and down now normally i would go ahead and actually put that in before i play my next chip for the purposes of the video we're going to play the three chip shots first and then we'll have a putt up let's try the hard one now so moving over here i'm going to use a more lofted club because of the, the slope i've got to go up there and the lack of green to work with so i'm going to use my 60 degree wedge to try and get this one up and down I've played that one a little bit, so it's run on a touch. Um, again, that was a hard shot, so one we might expect to find a bit more challenging to get up and down, so not too surprised with that one. Finally, we'll move on to the easy one, which is over here. And again, for this one, I'm gonna use my more lofted lob wedge because that's gonna allow me to get up the slope and get the ball to stop quite quickly. Always helps when you pop it in there. That's going to really get the score down. Makes up for that first one that went a bit too far. So mixed success there. Uh, first one, not too bad, run past slightly. The second one from the hard location went over a bit too far down the slopes. So that's going to be a tricky one. But fortunately, I chipped in the medium ones. So that's given me a little bit of credit in the bank. So, you know, I'm ahead of the game with that one, which is great. So now we're going to go ahead and actually putt these balls out to get our overall score. I'll start off with my first one, which is easier chip. So going through my full routine here, marking the ball and reading the putt, trying to create a real lifelike situation. So I've read this putt on roughly left edge, so I'm lining my ball up to help with that. Completed that one in three, total of four so far. We'll go ahead and do the final putt here to see what our overall score is.
I give that one enough, but try and finish this one off. Okay, so after three attempts there, my total score was actually one over par. Disappointing, but obviously if I can do that over the remaining six balls, it should be enough to hopefully get me to pass par 18. Next time you're out on the practice ground, make sure your practice has some consequence. Try par 18, see if it improves your chipping.